Hello everyone, I am Varun Gautam. I work as a specialist solution architect in AWS for in-memory databases. In this short presentation, we will be discussing about Valky Glide and also some of the customer problems with Elastic Cache implementations and how Glide resolves them. Glide stands for General Language Independent Driver for the Enterprise. Valky Glide is the new client design to provide a smooth and consistent user experience across all applications, even when they are written in different programming languages. The advantages of Glide are customers can open support tickets and feature requests and receive direct assistance from us. Glide comes with optimal configurations out of the box, so customers don't need to worry or fiddle with settings to achieve optimal performance. Glide provides a consistent and unified client experience across all applications, even if they are written in different languages. This ensures that the system remains stable and reliable regardless of the language the application was developed in. Recently, Glide 2.0 was released with three new major enhancements. The first one was support for Go. Valky Glide 2.0 now includes Go support alongside its existing Java, Python and Node.js implementations, offering a unified API experience across all four languages. The second enhancement was the enhanced observability with open telemetry. Valky Glide 2.0 introduces open telemetry integration, providing enhanced application observability through comprehensive telemetry data collection. This highly requested feature enables developers to monitor client-side performance in distributed systems using traces, metrics, and logs. With support for multiple programming languages and observability backends like Prometheus, Yager, and Amazon CloudWatch. Data is exported paid via OLTP protocol to collectors for routing to preferred monitoring platforms. The third enhancement was the streamlining of high-throughput workloads with batching. Valky Glide 2.0 introduces command batching to enhance performance for high-throughput workloads. Unlike the previous system where each command required its own request-response cycle, the new batching feature allows multiple commands to be sent and processed in a single request. This optimization significantly reduces network overhead and latency making it ideal for intensive operations like bulk congestion, large-scale caching, and real-time analytics. Here is a high-level architecture of Glide. Glide is composed of three main components, the wrappers, the core, the communication layer that con connects them. Valky Glide was built using a core engine coded in Rust, complemented by language-specific bindings called wrappers, and a communication layer that connects it all. Glide's Rust core is based on Redis RS, a leading REST Redis OSS client library. We chose Rust for its built-in memory safety features and high performance capabilities. The Rust core is responsible for communicating with Valky or Redis OSS, covering aspects such as connection handling, topology adjustment, error management, parsing the Rust protocol, and message encapsulation. The language wrappers are designed to be lightweight and serve as language-specific interfaces for the core. The communication layer provides seamless transmission of requests and responses between the core and the wrappers. This design provides a uniform interface and consistent client behavior across various programming languages. This is important if you have applications written in various languages that connect to Valky or Redis OSS, and developers can have a similar client experience. Here we'll be discussing the feature highlights of Glide, also highlighting some of the customer problems on how Glide, Glide basically solves them. So in order to route requests correctly, the client maintains a map linking to the slots to their respective owning nodes. This slot to node map is referred to as cluster's topology. When a request is being executed, only if an error is encountered does the client act to refresh the topology, and then the request is being rerouted to the right node. The problem with this reactive approach is that it increases latency as the request has to be routed twice, doubling the response time. So Glide does automatic topology discovery and automatically discovers all cluster nodes from a single seed node eliminating the need to manually configure the every node address. The node address can be an IP address, hostname, or fully qualified domain name. Another issue we frequently encounter with customers is that their client relies on a single node's response to update its topology view. This means a client queries just one node in order to get the view of the cluster and then update its local map based on that response. The problem with this approach is that in a distributed system, a single node may not be fully in sync with the rest of the cluster. This can happen due to network partitioning or other issues. If the client uses an inaccurate view of the cluster, it could fail to recognize some nodes, potentially leading to complete downtime of the application. Glide resolves this by consensus-based resolution. Glide queries multiple nodes for their topology view and selects 
one with the highest agreement, reducing the risk of stale at or incorrect mapping and ensuring a more in accurate and up-to-date cluster view, improving the overall ability of the cluster instead of getting the details from a single node. Let's take an example. During a traffic spike in your cluster, you decide to scale out of the cluster to handle the load. The client detects that a topology change is underway and throughout the change sends endless topology requests to the nodes to get an updated view. This, of course, adds an additional load to the already busy servers, making them less available to handle other requests, increasing latency and potentially causes a complete application outage. Glide resolves this through efficient resource management. Glide employs an efficient algorithm to compare the node views and dynamically throttles client managed requests to prevent overloading Valky servers, ensuring a balance between maintaining an up to date topology map and optimizing resource utilization. Another important problem that the customer faces is connection management, which is distribution system presents unique challenges that impact performance, reliability, and resource utilization. The Go client addresses these challenges with reliable solutions like proactive reconnection. Glide implements a background monitoring system for connection states. By detecting disconnections and initiating reconnections preemptively, the client eliminates the reconnection latency typically experienced when a request discovers a broken connection. Also, it prevents connection storms. When network events occur, connection storms can overwhelm servers with simultaneous reconnection attempts. Glide mitigates the risk through back-off algorithm with Jitter that distributes reconnection attempts over time, protecting server from southern connection surges. Robust connection handling with automatic connection strategies ensures your application remains resilient even during network instability. Also, Glide introduces multiplex connections. So rather than maintaining a connection pool, the Glide establishes a single multiplex connection per cluster node. This architectural choice not only minimizes the total number of TCP connections to the servers, it reduces the system call overhead and also maintains high throughput through efficient connection pipelining. Moreover, it decreases server-side connection management burden. The client application code has to take care of resubscribing to new nodes during reconnects. So for this, Glide handles the PubSub mechanism in an automatic and smart way by PubSub state restoration. It is the ability to restore the state of PubSub channels after a client reconnects. This feature ensures that the client can continue receiving messages after disconnections or topology updates, such as adding or removing shards for both legacy PubSub and sh sharded PubSub. The client will automatically resubscribe to the new connections of the new node. Customers face extra cross-zone transfer charges and also experience extra latency for cross-easy communication. These costs are sometimes very high and are comparable to actual node costs. In Valky 8, availability zone configuration was introduced, allowing clients to specify the AZ for each Valky server. Client leveraged this new configuration to empower its users with the ability to use AZ affinity routing. It's the only Valky client library supporting the AZ affinity strategies, offering a unique advantage. It not only reduces the data transfer costs because cross-zone data transfer offer incurs additional charges in cloud environments. By ensuring operations are directed to nodes within the same AZ, you can mini minimize or eliminate these costs. Secondly, it also minimizes the latency. Distance between AZs within the same region, for example, in AWS, is typically up to 60 miles or 100 kilometers. This adds to extra round-trip latency, usually in the range of 500 to 1000 microseconds. By ensuring requests remain within the same AZ, you can reduce latency and improve the responsiveness of your application. So here are a few package managers from where you can install Valky Glide, Java, Python, Node.js and Go. For more learning materials, you can use this link or scan this QR code. Thank you.